So here we have the ZMR 250 uh, that we built in the video and we're just going to add the FPV kit onto it. So we have a camera here with a transmitter um, and then you'll be able to fly FPV. So we first obviously uh, take the top off here just to uh, gain access to everything. Careful not to lose the screws. Uh, the FPV kit that we're going to use to do this job is uh, the FPV bundle kit from Esheen that we sell. Now the cable set comes nice and uh, everything is ready for you to plug in. And we're going to be using um, the 3D printed uh, mount that we also sell with it for the camera because it's easy to install, you just stick it on in the bottom. So we first put the camera into the, uh, the mount which is fairly easy. See there's a little screw on the top here that we have to undo first. Careful not to lose it obviously. So here you can see there's a little indent in the mount. Um, and when you push this through make sure that this top bit goes through the indent like that. You can see that the hole for the screws come through so if you just put the screw straight back in there. Don't over tighten it. Uh, so this, we're now we're just going to connect everything up. This is the cable pack that you get in it. This clearly connects to the camera here. Three to three. So now we've got everything connected, we're just going to stick it onto the frame. So we have the camera uh, mounted there and we have our transmitter um, connected here. So this is just going to go on the bottom of the top plate here like so. Um, so we might as well mount this the transmitter on now. I'm just going to do this with a zip tie um, but it's also always a good idea to put double sided sticky tape on the underside as well just to, for the extra security. Now, if you are going to use a zip tie, um, make sure to thread it through from the bottom to the top um, because we don't want the, the knobbly bit being on the top disturbing the battery. We then reattach the top. So we've now added uh, the FPV gear onto our ZMR250 quadcopter uh, with the camera, transmitter um, and I'm just going to show how this thing is powered. So we have our uh, battery that's going to be mounted here as shown in the previous video. This uh, connects here ordinarily to power the motors and everything. I'm not going to do that here because we've got the props attached. But the FPV system is powered by the balance connector here, so this just connects to this, like this. Transmitter is now powered. So this, the FPV system is now powered. Make sure that all wires and everything are not uh, in danger of the propellers, um, of being cut by the propellers, otherwise things might go a bit badly for you. And there we have it, we've added the FPV kit to the Zidamar 250 quadcopter.